Welcome back, Stoicism Insights community. Brace yourselves for a mind-bending journey into the ancient wisdom of Stoic philosophy, where Marcus Aurelius unveils nine transformative rules destined to revolutionize your approach to life's challenges. Prepare to be inspired, enlightened, and empowered like never before. Rule number one, focus on what you can control. In his meditations, Marcus Aurelius expounds on the fundamental Stoic principle of focusing only on what lies within our sphere of control. He underscores the idea that external events, the actions of others, and even our past are beyond our power to change. Instead, he urges us to redirect our attention inward, toward the realm where we have agency, our thoughts, attitudes, and actions. By honing our ability to discern between what we can and cannot control, we cultivate a sense of inner peace and resilience. This practice of focusing on the controllable allows us to navigate life's uncertainties with grace and equanimity, fostering a deeper sense of well-being amidst the turbulence of external circumstances. When we let go of the futile desire to control that which is beyond our reach, we liberate ourselves from the shackles of anxiety and frustration. We learn to accept life as it unfolds, embracing both its joys and its sorrows with an open heart. By cultivating a mindset of acceptance and resilience, we become more adaptable and resilient in the face of adversity. Moreover, focusing on what we can control empowers us to take proactive steps toward our goals and aspirations. Instead of expending energy on worrying about external factors, we channel our efforts into areas where we can make a tangible difference. We become architects of our own destiny, actively shaping our lives in alignment with our values and aspirations. This proactive approach to life fosters a sense of agency and self-efficacy, enabling us to overcome obstacles and seize opportunities with confidence and determination. Ultimately, the practice of focusing on what we can control is not about denying or suppressing our emotions. It is about cultivating a sense of inner peace and equanimity, regardless of external circumstances. It is about embracing the serenity that comes from accepting life on its own terms, without clinging to the illusion of control. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Rule number two, embrace adversity as opportunity. Marcus Aurelius, drawing from his own experiences as a leader facing constant challenges, teaches us to view adversity not as a barrier to success, but as a pathway to growth and self-discovery. He reminds us that every setback, every obstacle, presents an opportunity to test our mettle, to strengthen our resolve, and to refine our character. By embracing adversity with courage and resilience, we transform hardship into a catalyst for personal development. Rather than being defeated by life's trials, we emerge from them stronger, wiser, and more resilient than before, equipped to face whatever challenges lie ahead with steadfast determination. Adversity becomes a teacher, imparting valuable lessons about resilience, perseverance, and the power of the human spirit. Furthermore, embracing adversity fosters a sense of humility and empathy as we come to appreciate the struggles faced by others. It cultivates compassion and understanding as we recognize the shared humanity that binds us all together. Adversity becomes a common thread that connects us to one another, uniting us in our shared journey through life. Moreover, embracing adversity allows us to discover hidden strengths and talents that we never knew we possessed. It pushes us out of our comfort zones, forcing us to confront our fears and limitations head on. In doing so, it expands our horizons and broadens our perspective, opening doors to new opportunities and possibilities. As Marcus Aurelius famously said, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Ultimately, 
Embracing adversity is not about denying or minimizing the pain and suffering it brings. It is about finding meaning and purpose in the face of adversity, about rising above our circumstances and transcending our limitations. It is about embracing the inherent challenges of life as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. Rule number three, practice virtue in all things. Stoicism places a profound emphasis on living a life of virtue, of embodying the cardinal virtues of courage, wisdom, justice and temperance in all our thoughts and actions. Marcus Aurelius extols the virtues as the cornerstone of a meaningful and fulfilling existence, emphasizing that true happiness and fulfillment stem from aligning our lives with these timeless principles. By cultivating virtue in our daily lives, we not only elevate ourselves but also contribute to the collective welfare of humanity. Through acts of courage, wisdom, justice and temperance, we become agents of positive change, fostering a more just, compassionate and harmonious society. Moreover, practicing virtue fosters a sense of inner peace and contentment as we align our actions with our deepest values and aspirations. Furthermore, practicing virtue enables us to cultivate meaningful and fulfilling relationships with others. It fosters trust, respect and mutual understanding as we strive to treat others with kindness, compassion and empathy. Virtue becomes the currency of our interactions, enriching our lives and deepening our connections with others. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. Moreover, practicing virtue enables us to overcome the temptations of ego and selfishness as we prioritize the well-being of others above our own desires and interests. It fosters a sense of humility and gratitude as we recognize the countless blessings that enrich our lives. Virtue becomes a guiding light that illuminates our path, leading us toward a life of purpose, meaning and fulfillment. As Marcus Aurelius famously said, waste no more time arguing what a good man should be, be one. Ultimately, Practicing virtue is not about achieving perfection or moral superiority. It is about striving to be the best versions of ourselves, despite our imperfections and limitations. It is about embracing the journey of self-discovery and self-improvement, one virtuous act at a time. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, Guard accordingly and take care that you entertain no notions unsuitable to virtue and reasonable nature. Rule number four, accept the impermanence of life. Marcus Aurelius reflects on the fleeting nature of existence, urging us to embrace the transience of life with equanimity. He reminds us that everything in the world, our possessions, our relationships, even our own lives, is subject to change and decay. Stoicism teaches us to accept this reality without succumbing to despair or regret, recognizing that clinging to the ephemeral only leads to suffering. Instead, we are encouraged to cultivate a sense of detachment, to hold our desires and attachments lightly, knowing that nothing in this world is permanent. By embracing the impermanence of life, we free ourselves from the tyranny of expectation, finding peace and contentment in the ever-changing flow of existence. Moreover, accepting the impermanence of life enables us to live more fully and authentically in the present moment. It allows us to let go of the past and release our anxieties about the future, embracing the richness and beauty of the here and now. By surrendering to the ebb and flow of life, we can experience a profound sense of freedom and liberation, unencumbered by the weight of attachment and desire. Furthermore, accepting the impermanence of life fosters a deep sense of gratitude and appreciation for the preciousness of each moment. 
It encourages us to cherish the people and experiences that enrich our lives, knowing that they are fleeting and fragile. By embracing the impermanence of life, we can cultivate a deeper sense of joy and fulfillment, finding beauty and meaning in the ephemeral nature of existence. Ultimately, accepting the impermanence of life is not about resignation or passivity. It is about embracing life with open arms, knowing that every moment is a gift to be savoured and cherished. It is about finding peace and contentment in the midst of life's uncertainties, knowing that change is inevitable and impermanence is the only constant. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, do not indulge in dreams of having what you have not, but reckon up the chief of the blessings you do possess, and then thankfully remember how you would crave for them if they were not yours. Rule number five, live in accordance with nature. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of aligning our lives with the natural order of the universe. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that we are not separate from nature, but integral parts of it. He encourages us to observe the rhythms and patterns of the natural world, recognizing that they offer valuable insights into living a balanced and harmonious life. Living in accordance with nature means honoring our interconnectedness with all living beings, cultivating a deep sense of gratitude and reverence for the world around us. It entails recognizing our place within the larger web of life and respecting the delicate balance that sustains it. By attuning ourselves to nature's wisdom, we can find clarity, purpose and tranquility amidst the chaos of modern existence. Moreover, living in accordance with nature fosters a sense of humility and awe as we marvel at the beauty and complexity of the natural world. It reminds us of our inherent dependence on the Earth's ecosystems for our survival and well-being. By nurturing a deeper connection to the natural world, we can cultivate a sense of stewardship and responsibility for its preservation. Furthermore, living in accordance with nature enables us to lead more sustainable and environmentally conscious lives. It encourages us to minimize our ecological footprint and to live in harmony with the Earth's ecosystems. By adopting practices such as reducing waste, conserving resources and supporting sustainable agriculture, we can contribute to the health and vitality of the planet for future generations. Ultimately, living in accordance with nature is about cultivating a deeper sense of connection and belonging to the world around us. It is about recognizing that we are part of something greater than ourselves and honoring the interconnectedness of all life. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, he who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with the universe. Rule number six, practice self-discipline and moderation. Marcus Aurelius believed that true freedom comes from mastering ourselves, from exercising control over our desires and impulses. He teaches us to resist the temptations of excess and indulgence, advocating for a life of moderation and temperance. By cultivating self-discipline, we develop the inner strength and resilience needed to overcome life's challenges. Through acts of self-restraint, we harness our potential and channel it toward the pursuit of virtuous goals. Stoicism teaches us that true fulfillment comes not from the pursuit of fleeting pleasures, but from the disciplined pursuit of excellence and self-improvement. Moreover, practicing self-discipline enables us to cultivate greater focus, productivity and efficiency in our lives. It empowers us to prioritize our goals and values, making conscious choices that align with our long-term aspirations. By exercising self-control over our impulses and distractions, we can overcome procrastination and achieve greater success in our personal and professional endeavors. Furthermore, practicing self-discipline fosters a sense of inner peace and contentment as we learn to find satisfaction in the pursuit of meaningful goals rather than in fleeting pleasures. 
it frees us from the cycle of craving and dissatisfaction that often accompanies a life of excess and indulgence. By cultivating a mindset of moderation and temperance, we can find balance and harmony in all aspects of our lives. Ultimately, practicing self-discipline is not about denying ourselves pleasure or suppressing our desires. It is about cultivating a sense of mastery and self-control that empowers us to live with intention and purpose. It is about finding the courage to say no to immediate gratification in favor of long-term fulfillment and well-being. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Rule number seven, live in the present moment. In a world filled with distractions and worries about the future, Stoicism encourages us to cultivate mindfulness and presence. Marcus Aurelius reminds us that the present moment is all we ever truly have, urging us to embrace it with gratitude and awareness. By practicing mindfulness, we can break free from the grip of anxiety and regret, finding peace and contentment in the here and now. Living in the present moment allows us to fully engage with life, savoring its richness and beauty, and finding meaning in the simplest of moments. It is through the practice of mindfulness that we can experience true joy and fulfillment, no matter what circumstances may arise. Moreover, living in the present moment enables us to let go of the past and release our anxieties about the future. It frees us from the burden of regrets and resentments that weigh us down, allowing us to live with greater ease and authenticity. By cultivating a mindset of presence and awareness, we can experience life more fully and deeply, appreciating each moment as it unfolds. Furthermore, living in the present moment fosters deeper connections with others as we learn to listen more attentively and empathetically. It allows us to be fully present for our loved ones offering them our undivided attention and support. By cultivating a sense of presence and mindfulness in our relationships, we can foster deeper intimacy and connection with those we care about. Ultimately, living in the present moment is about embracing life with open arms, fully experiencing its joys and sorrows, its triumphs and challenges. It is about finding beauty and meaning in the here and now, knowing that each moment is a precious gift to be cherished. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. Rule number eight, cultivate resilience in the face of adversity. Stoicism teaches us to view challenges not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. Marcus Aurelius believed that true strength lies not in avoiding difficulties, but in facing them with courage and resilience. He reminds us that adversity is an inevitable part of life, a crucible through which we can forge our character and cultivate resilience. By embracing challenges with an open heart and a steadfast spirit, we can emerge from them stronger, wiser and more resilient than before. Adversity becomes a teacher, imparting valuable lessons about resilience, perseverance, and the power of the human spirit. Moreover, cultivating resilience enables us to bounce back from setbacks and failures with greater fortitude and determination. It allows us to weather life's storms with grace and equanimity, knowing that we have the inner strength to overcome whatever obstacles come our way. By developing resilience, we become more adaptable and resourceful, able to navigate life's uncertainties with confidence and resilience. Furthermore, cultivating resilience fosters a sense of empowerment and self-confidence as we learn to trust in our ability to overcome adversity. It instills within us a sense of agency and self-efficacy, enabling us to take proactive steps toward our goals and aspirations. By cultivating resilience, we become architects of our own destiny, capable of transforming adversity 
into opportunity. Ultimately, cultivating resilience is not about denying or minimizing the pain and suffering that adversity brings. It is about finding meaning and purpose in the face of adversity, about rising above our circumstances and transcending our limitations. It is about embracing life's challenges as opportunities for growth and self-discovery, knowing that each obstacle we overcome makes us stronger, wiser, and more resilient. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, the obstacle is the way. Rule number nine, remember the fragility of life. Stoicism reminds us that our time on this earth is limited and precious. Marcus Aurelius urges us to live each day as if it were our last, cherishing the moments we have and making the most of our time here. He reminds us that life is a fleeting gift and that we should not take it for granted. By embracing the fragility of life, we can cultivate a deep sense of gratitude and appreciation for the preciousness of each moment. We learn to savor the simple joys of everyday life, knowing that they are fleeting and fragile. Moreover, remembering the fragility of life encourages us to prioritize what truly matters and to let go of petty grievances and concerns. It prompts us to live with intention and purpose, making conscious choices that align with our values and aspirations. By embracing the impermanence of life, we can live more fully and authentically, without being weighed down by regrets or resentments. Furthermore, remembering the fragility of life inspires us to make the most of our time here on Earth, to pursue our dreams and aspirations with passion and determination. It encourages us to seize the day and to live with a sense of urgency and purpose. By embracing the fragility of life, we can live with greater courage, compassion, and authenticity, knowing that every moment is a precious gift to be cherished. Ultimately, remembering the fragility of life is about embracing the preciousness of each moment and living with a sense of gratitude and reverence for the gift of life. It is about making the most of our time here on Earth cherishing the people and experiences that enrich our lives and leaving behind a legacy of love and compassion. As Marcus Aurelius reminds us, do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. And there you have it, Stoicism Insights Community. Remember, your thoughts and insights are just as valuable as those of the ancient Stoics. So don't hesitate to share your thoughts, experiences and questions in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more invaluable insights into Stoic philosophy. Hit that notification bell to stay updated on all our upcoming episodes. Until next time, May you embody the resilience and wisdom of the Stoics in every aspect of your life. Stay inspired, stay empowered, and stay tuned to Stoicism Insights.